waterproof case like the Peli. Let me disinfect it and I will look at it. Okay, I'm now going to remove the cardboard box and look inside. Okay, now let's open and see what is inside. Ooh, Peli case with the foam inserts, cubic foam inserts. That is beautiful. Amazing. Okay, I've got this to put my eyepieces in there. This and that will be for 100 and 110 degrees eyepieces and probably zoom eyepiece if I have a space for it. So, because that makes it available. What I will do, I will not remove these uh, cubes. Just put the later eyepiece here and just let the weight of it and pressure from here to push them down. That will be better. I will try it anyway. Okay, this is my Teleview Ethers 13mm eyepiece, one of the best eyepieces uh, I have. Uh, it comes with everything and that's the actual eyepiece. So I will put that on the Pelicase foam inserts. Okay, the question is if I put that like this, how many eyepieces I can put? One, 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 three eyepieces. One, one, one. And if I put it like that, how many eyepieces I can put? One, 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 four. And probably two here or one, one here. I feel that this is the better way. And that's when it comes to this, that is good not to remove the cubes because if you make a mistake, you can just remove it. So let us put this one here and squeeze. And I'll bring more eye pieces and put them here. Okay, this is another Etus. Etus uh, 8. I will keep an empty space here for Etus 21 or 17 when I get it, but at the moment is em I, will, I want to leave a space empty here. So that is the ETS 8mm. So, if I put it like that, is it better or should I put it in a different way, arrangements? So that is 13. Um, I put this here in the middle and then put this here I will have more space for maneuver later so it is 13 here it is 8 here and if I get a 21 I can put it there or should I just be happy with the way it is we will see anyway let me just close this to see if I can close it yeah I can close it if I close it like that the case can be moved I'm gonna want to use it like this the case is ready can can remove it any time. Take it, the foam goes back in its place, can put it back, the foam takes its shape again, and that's that's perfect for what I want. Okay, I am going to put more eyepieces in this case and see how it will be. Okay, I have now a APM 20 millimeter and I will try to put it either here or on that side. Let's just see how it will be. Okay, this is the ETHES, uh, sorry, it's APM 20 millimeter. I put this a little bit higher in that direction. I move this a little bit closer to that so I can make this space for the APM. Let's see if we can stay there. Yeah, now we close it 
and the pressure by the foam will shape this hopefully so now it is there I have three eyepieces uh, 8 uh, 13 and 20 all 100 degrees so now I'm going to put a 9 a 5 and a 3 if I can three and a half they will not be ethers or APM they will be um, uh, myriad okay I have now Helios or Sky Watcher or uh, William Optics uh, O V L O W A L something like that. Anyway, all of them are sky watcher, Chinese, uh, 100 and 110 degrees. This is a nine millimeter one, 100 degree. This is a three and a half millimeter one. Uh, these are the ones that uh, this is the most used one practically. I have five millimeter, but I'm not sure it will take uh, it will be enough space for it. But I will try it anyway. And uh, this is 110 degrees. Let's see if I can put them here. Okay, this is a three and a half millimeter one. I take it out. It's quite large eyepiece. Okay, I'll put the three and a half millimeter and now I'll put the nine millimeter one. This is the nine millimeter myriad. Quite large, not as large as the three and a half millimeter, but let's see, see how we can do this. Okay, this is the 9mm, now in the case. I think I have a space here for a 5mm one. Let me see if I can first close this, then I will try. Okay, I managed and close this. It's a little bit, a bit tight, but uh, it, because it's foam, it will shape. You know, it will pressurize it, squeeze it, squash it, and makes its own space. This is the Skywatcher Helios uh, 5 mm 110 degrees eyepiece and uh, I will try to see if I can put this on the in on the foam here. So uh, larger than 9 mm smaller than the 3.5 mm quite large anyway for an eyepiece almost like a little Finder scope. Okay, this is the five millimeter myriad. I think it's a bit too close to the other one, so I just push this a little bit that way. This is a little bit this way. Push this a little bit this way to make space. Also, this one a little bit here. So, so we have now a full range of the eyepiece, three and a half. I mean, 110 and 100 uh, degree eyepieces. We have a uh, three and a half, five millimeter, nine millimeter. Then we go to the eight eaters, 13 millimeter eaters, and uh, APM 20 millimeter. And they're a good match for each other. And that's it. This is the 100 degree eyepiece set i have an apm uh, 13 millimeter i have one also one of these other ones um myriad five millimeter and i may get one of the eaters 21 millimeter when it comes available but at the moment that is all i will try not to close this case so let's close this be a bit tough but we have to do it because this is foam it should really compress easily nice now we have a case full of this waterproof hard durable the only thing is that I'm wondering is it heat proof uh, it's moisture proof you can just open this for moisture to go in and out uh, may not be fireproof but uh, that's another story. Uh, aluminium is not fireproof also. 400 degrees, which is the flame temperature of most of the fires, uh, we will, uh, and above, it will easily melt. So this, if you don't live in somewhere that is really danger of the fire and don't leave it so there, this will hopefully will last. So that's my 
collection of the 100 degree pieces in one case. I must say this side of it is here heavier than this side. That's a million ones. <laughs> if I had the ethos ones, they would be also the same size and heavy also. Okay, now I have made the space for them. Uh, I know what is the boundary, so I just push these things rest top layer, not any more than deeper than the uh, uh, one of the sides of this. Uh, so I just disconnect them from the rest. So when they go down, they will not drag the rest of it. So now I can push these things down, as you can see here, with my hand, my fingers. I push them down. Then I put the um, eyepiece and this will be snug here without dragging this side down if it is connected this will drag this side down so now this is really well connected i've done this for this and i will do for all the rest of them really snug and nice without removing the thing or having trouble with later just this is now the way now i have created a similar space for the apm 20 millimeter and when i put it here and gradually over time it will make make it even better without dragging this side down this side of the foam i just not very deeply just split it this one not very deep just the same size as the uh, widths of the cubes not very deep shallow and just just press it down it press it gets pressed down gradually and makes this space i will do this for the rest of this stuff. So without uh, doing any damage to the foam, which cannot be, you know, reversed. Now I have my 100 degree and 110 degree eyepieces, super mega wide angle, or whatever you want to call them, um, in a safe bag that is easy to carry at the same time, lovely to look at, and easy to access, and safe, and protected. Instead of individual boxes that you have everything to open and close, which is nice, but uh, it's not practical over time. They get damaged eventually. So let's close this.